Hello. Today's video is about ways people excuse abusive behavior so they don't have to believe victims. When a victim of abuse has proof of the abuse, such as broken bones or bruises, that person is often believed. Sadly, the emotional warfare that narcissists dish out doesn't leave such obvious physical evidence behind, and many victims aren't believed because of that. As a result, victims are often re-victimized by people who don't believe them. And people who accuse them of things like exaggerating, lying, seeking attention, or being the abuser who's trying to cover their tracks. This often includes a victim's own friends and family. The excuses people give as to why they don't believe a victim may sound plausible, but in reality, these excuses really aren't. This video shares some of those commonly used excuses. She's too nice. I can't imagine the sweet person abusing anyone is one excuse. Abusers hide their cruel activities from everyone but their victim. By acting nice around other people, this protects the abuser's reputation and makes people believe him or her over the victim. But this person's a pastor or a teacher or a nurse. There's no way that he could be abusive. Wrong. Narcissists are drawn to helping professions such as pastor, or teacher, or the medical field because people in these fields are often admired. Such positions also offer power <clears throat> excuse me, offer power over other people. Another excuse is, but she's so active in the church. She carries her Bible everywhere. Being active in the church and carrying a Bible around doesn't mean a person can't be abusive. There are abusive people in every single area of life, and that includes the church. This role of being religious can bring the admiration that the narcissist wants while protecting their reputation in such a way that if their victim speaks out, they often won't be believed. Another one is, he brags about his kids all the time. I can't imagine him abusing those kids. Narcissists have children as yet another means of gaining narcissistic supply. When people think well of their children, narcissists take it as people thinking well of them. So yes, many narcissistic parents will brag about their children as a way of gathering narcissistic supply. But she's your mother. Mothers always love their children and would never hurt them. <sighs> Frankly, this one's just delusional. While most mothers do love their children, not all do. The same goes for fathers. Some people, like narcissists, are simply incapable of loving anyone at all, and this includes their children. He's always so nice to me, he can't be abusive. All this means is the abuser hasn't let you get close enough to him to see the true self. He's keeping, that, keeping you at a distance and keeping that side of him hidden from you. He says you're lying and never abused you, really. Do you think that an abusive person would actually accept responsibility and admit being abusive? That's not gonna happen. If they admit anything happened, you can guarantee they're gonna have excuses or maybe their version will be much different than the victim's version. Another one is he never hit her. That means it's not abuse. This is so wrong. Abuse can be so much more than just hitting a person. That's bad enough. But abuse also can be things like manipulating, invalidating, harshly criticizing, destroying a person's self-esteem, or even forcing someone to do sexual acts they want no part of. Another common thing is the victim's just angry. That doesn't mean that person was abusive. Okay, that can be true. However, if you know the victim, you're going to know if this person is just generally angry or not. And if the victim is just an angry person, chances are very slim that anger will be focused on only one person. He or she would pretty much be angry with just everybody. They weren't a good match, is another comment. There's a big difference between a mismatched, mismatched couple and abuse. A couple who is incompatible can still involve good people. Abusers aren't good people. Another one is they were just toxic for each other. This does happen. And if this is the case, both parties involved will admit their shortcomings. One person will not claim total innocence while the other claims abuse. Both people involved will also work to try to improve their relationship or mutually agree to end it. And if they end it, one person is not going to stalk or harass the other. Next time someone says one of these types of comments to you, I hope you remember this video and it helps you. Thank you for watching.